Mighty God, use him as an oracle of dying. Father, use him to speak even now, O oh God. We shake down, God, every distraction, anything that will oppose your word this morning. Father, glorify yourself even now. And we'll give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we clap our hands for Jesus? Can we clap our hands for Jesus? Hallelujah, you may be seated. You may be seated. I'd like to preach on the topic again. Whatsoever you do, <laughs> keep the faith. I want to pray on somebody this morning and say, whatsoever, born in the past, but whatsoever you do, keep the faith. Tell it to somebody. Whatsoever you do, keep the faith. I want you to touch yourself and say, whatsoever you do, make sure you keep the faith. Oh God. Let me start off by giving you a brief summary of this Arthur Jude. You all must understand that Jude is an English form of the name Judas. Many scholars believe that the James mentioned in this passage is the same James, the brother, quote unquote, of Jesus. In Mark chapter 6 and verse 3, and according to Galatians chapter 1 and verse 19. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 55, the Bible said concerning Jesus. Uh, is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sister, are they not with us? If Jude, Judas was the brother of James and of Jesus, Jude did not believe in Jesus according to St. John chapter 7 and verse 5. Until after Jesus resurrected according to Acts chapter 1 and verse 14. And that's the reason when we study the introduction of the epistle, we see Jude describe himself as a servant of Jesus Christ rather than the brother of Jesus Christ Amen. because you now understand that this person that I grew with is not my brother he is the sovereign God Amen. he is God wrapped up in flesh so in other words you understand he is not my sibling is my savior. Amen. So when Jude wrote this epistle, it didn't say Jude, the brother of Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Hallelujah. Because he understands that Jesus is more than uh, God and bigger than, hallelujah, the title brother. He is his Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Jude is the last of the general letters or epistles of the New Testament and the text, the last book of the Bible. It is a brief but hard eating epistle written by a man who believed in not allowing negative influence to destroy the body of Christ. Jude and mass false teaching with pointed language and vivid images while appealing to the faithful to remember the teachings of the apostle. And that's why the apostle Paul wrote to the Thessalonian brethren telling them to stand firm and hold to the tradition which they were taught 
whether by word or of mouth or by letter from us. Amen. Oh God. And if there's any time, brothers and sisters, we need to stand firm and hold to the traditions of oh God. And the teaching of the apostles, the time is now. Oh God. Amen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, when I look around us today, one can conclude that a lot of us are not faithful because of Christ. A lot of us, we are not keeping the faith. But if there is any time that we need to keep the faith, the time is now. Point at somebody again and say, whatever you do, keep the faith. Whatever you do, keep the faith. Oh uh, God, now we are putting out uh, the effort, no one, uh, to stand up for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have become so passive and diluted and polluted and indifferent. And so because of this, uh, the glory of the Lord is gradually leaving the church. Oh uh, God, and now what we are calling church is not really church. Oh uh, God, and now what we are seeing inside of the building, praise God, hallelujah. Uh, but rather than we see people being empowered, uh, what we are seeing is entertainment. Uh, the church is quiet, the church. Uh, God Almighty, brothers and sisters, the house of God is not a place to be entertained. Uh, uh, the house of God is a place where you go uh, to get empowerment. Uh, God. Uh, it's a place, brothers and sisters, where you go to get encounter uh, with the presence of the Almighty God. Uh, it's a place, brothers and sisters, where your cup is, uh, uh, God is about to triumph. Uh, God is a place where you go, uh, God, to get more of the living water. Uh, uh, it's a place, brothers and sisters, uh, when you feel weary, when you go, uh, God, in the house of God. Uh, uh, God may begin to strengthen you up. Uh, God, uh, when you go into the house of God, praise God. Uh, uh, God, we are going to see God, not man. Uh, and that's what we see in the body of Christ now, praise God. Uh, rather than God be exalted, uh, we are seeing men being exalted. Uh, but I come to tell somebody, brothers and sisters, uh, ladies and gentlemen, whatever, whatever, whatever you do, uh, make sure you keep the faith. Oh uh, God, the church is quiet, the church is quiet, the church is quiet. Oh uh, uh, God, there is the, that's the reason why uh, our praise and worship has become indifferent. Uh, our standards are becoming indifferent. Our view of God, hallelujah, has become indifferent. Our view of uh, uh, God and the under shepherd and leadership has become indifferent. Uh, our interpretation of the scriptures has become indifferent. Why? Uh, because there are some things that are creeping in unaware. Uh, uh, God Almighty, come to divert, oh God, the holiness uh, and the precepts of God. Uh, but in this last days, God need a remnant. Uh, God need you and I to stand up, praise God. Uh, and declare the word of God in season uh, and out of season. Even if people uh, uh, that put their eyes upon you, uh, God need us to stand up for this thing, uh, to stand up for holiness, uh, to stand up for righteousness, uh, to stand up for the things of God. Oh God, the, the church is keep quiet. No oh God, I'm gonna preach and take my seat. Uh, uh, what is happening, brothers and sister, is that uh, there are folks that creep in unaware to divert some doctrine uh, from the church of the living God. Uh, you must understand they just like us, they talk like us. Uh, Oh God, they want one speaking tongues like us. Oh God, they want, oh God, was baptized in the name of Jesus like us. Oh God, but Paul said they are none of us. Because if they were once with us, they would not, not leave us. Oh God Almighty. Brothers and sisters, if there's any time 
that we need the spirit of discernment. The time is now. Because we have seen some things happening in the church. Praise God. It is not of God. Hallelujah. But if we don't have the spirit of discernment, we can't tell uh, that what is righteousness, what is godly, uh, and what is not godly. Uh, and that's why a lot of us, oh God, and love people nowadays uh, are being deceived uh, because they cannot tell the shepherd of uh, God uh, from wolves. Uh, and the Bible says in the last days uh, that there are going to be people that come in the body of Christ. Uh, oh God, they're going to look like sheep, uh, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Uh, Oh God Almighty, can I preach to somebody? And if you don't have the spirit of discernment, oh God, you're going to stick to all God to do things that are not godly. Oh God, if you don't have the spirit of discernment, you're going to be caught up in some things that are not of God. Oh God, if you don't have the spirit of discernment, you're going to be caught to begin to follow some things and follow some folks that God did not send them. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. And you begin to do some things. Oh God, that is out of the will of God. That is weird. Oh, you're not preaching me. Oh God, but you so listen, listen, listen. Why is the content for the fade? Even if it's for God Almighty. Oh God, they are joined a magnitude of crowd. If it doesn't not match up with the word of God. Don't go here, oh God Almighty. Don't put it on, oh God. Oh God, don't be a part of it. And that's why the scriptures have come out from among them. And be separate, oh God. If it's only you alone, oh God, stand up for the faith. It's only you alone. Need to be different. Need to be a Daniel. Need to be a Shadrach. Be Shadrach. Jesus, Jesus, the Holy Ghost. Oh, I pointed somebody to do it to be different. Do it to be a shadrach, be shaka. I'm a man the whole. Don't sell up this thing. Oh, God, don't compromise this thing. This thing was bought with a price. Jesus died on the cross to set you and I free. Don't let nobody make you sell it. Don't let nobody make you cut it. This is the Pentecostal experience. We have seen now, brothers and sisters, all oh, ladies and gentlemen, that the enemy wants us to cut it. There's a pack at the church, but I come to tell somebody that when the dust is settled, the church will stand alone. church now because what I'm taking place in Jamaica oh God everybody said listen all of them is the same thing but I want to tell somebody we are not the same no there is a difference oh God almighty the church is set up hallelujah and God is in control you heard that by the sin upon this rock I will Yes, yeah. yeah. 
still people that are listening and hearing from God. We are still people that is not going to compromise your world. We are still people that is not going to allow pride to fill their heart. We are still people that is going to go by the highways and the edges and to declare to this dark world that Jesus said, Oh, keep a respect. Still believe that baptism is essential. All oh, that still believe that there must be more than ten. Still believe that there must be filled with the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Still believe that there must be a holy life. Still believe that culture doesn't dictate to the Bible, oh God. But the Bible dictates the culture. Can I preach to you? Because we have seen some people now all that come into church dressing any and any our preachers looking all oh God looking like they are coming from outside the club. Oh, can I preach to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? Oh, But everything changed. But I heard the Bible said the God of his servant in his immutable is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's the same God in America. It's the same God in England. It's the same God in Canada. It's the same God in Jamaica. It's the same God. Righteousness is righteousness. Righteousness everywhere you go. 
we are different. We worship different. We preach different. We dance different. We sing different. We play music different. Lord, the Bible said, again, come out from among them. Hallelujah. And be ye separate. Oh God. Thank God. The Bible said, holiness without which no man shall see God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Holiness is still inside. Yes, sir. Oh God. Tell us about the three deadly apostasy that bring destruction. Oh God. Jews remind us, remember Israel, that they were destroyed because of unbelief. Oh my God. What we're seeing, brothers and sisters, in this hour, in this season, brother, the unsaved, oh God, is not believing the word of God anymore. It's the Christ quote unquote Christians. That are pushing against the word of God anymore. Amen. We're taking time to cut down the word, oh God Almighty. Ha. We don't believe in the word that we ought to, oh Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But Jude's oh God, remind us uh, and say, remember Israel. Uh, the reason why God spoke them uh, in the wilderness uh, it was because of their unbelief. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. The third one, second one. Jude remind them about the angels that kidnapped their first estate but left their own inhabitation. Jude remind them of Saddam and Gomorrah. Oh God. That was destroyed because they went after strange flesh. Hallelujah. Watching a clip about this man. My home had this big uh, God preacher uh, had this big rainbow uh, uh, that flag behind him uh, and the church was still packed with apostolics. So oh God. Oh God. Big homosexual flag. Uh, and people still calling that man of God. You know, talk to me. Uh, oh Jesus. Uh, still calling him a man of God. No spirit of discernment. No spirit of discernment. Oh God Almighty. No spirit to say something was not right. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. And sometimes we just speak like these people think say that you're not my people. But sometimes we see long ago that something that oh God. Something is not right. Oh God Almighty. You could see from a mile away. Oh God, that something is off. Oh God Almighty. Some of them praise God. You can see the woman sexual spirit. From a mile away. Hallelujah. Praise God. The infeminate spirit. From a mile away. The church have lost. Yes. It's sight. Because we take it off God and we put it on man. And so the Bible said, I will send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Oh, God Almighty. But I'm just why I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, earnestly content for this thing. Don't lose this thing. Because what is taking place in this world is a strong delusion. The Bible said, I believe it was David who said it. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? You must understand that Pentecostalism is apostolic movement. It's more than repentance. Yes, Baptism in speak. Baptism and speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. We got to get but the gifts of the spirit. Yes. And the fruit of the spirit in holiness. Amen. Oh, you don't talk to the church. Mm -hmm. Oh, God Almighty. If there's any time that we need to see the fruit of the spirit operating, the time is now. No. 
I want to fuck the talk. We need to contact more than the gifts. Because what you see in Brothers Gale is that many people have the gift, oh God Almighty. But they lack the fruit. And what is more important is the fruit of the Spirit that they give, oh God Almighty. This man, praise God, when you see that man in Jamaica, he has, oh God, the gifts. Oh God, hallelujah, he has an anointing upon him. But he did not have the fruit. Yeah, what we see is that a lot of oh God anointed is fooling people. Hallelujah. People are being tricked by gifts. Yes. yes. You don't talk to me. You don't talk to me. God. Oh God Almighty. Let me tell them, brothers and sisters, don't run down. The gift. Oh God, run down the fruit. Oh God Almighty, my God, the gift you. You shall know them by the fruits. You shall know them. Give it for you. Hallelujah. I wish I could preach. What type of doctrine are we going to give the next generation? If every generation come and cut it and shut it down. Yeah. If we don't stand for something, we will fall for anything. Yeah. All the church is quiet. The church is quiet. What type of legacy are we going to leave down to the next generation? I want to leave my legacy, oh God Almighty, to the next generation. I want to leave solid word. I want to leave all of that solid food. I'm tired of giving milk. We need some solid food right now. For this generation, for the more we cut it, it's the more they're going down. Hallelujah. What we see, what is church? You see the pastor try to cut it. Glory. To please the people. Glory. That's right. Cut the standard. Keep the house flowing. Right. To keep the house flowing. I will still see the people that are still weak. Yeah. You don't talk to me. Right. You don't talk to me, God. Oh God, we relax everything. We relax the chest grown. Oh God, to have people come in. And the people that come in that still dry and weak. Yeah. That part is the content. So if they have to stand on hope, oh God Almighty, we dead fearful uh, that we relax it, praise God, uh, and children that is not going nowhere. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Earnestly dead for the faith. Jude said, fight for this thing. Stand for this thing. Even if it's you alone, don't relax it. It's a spiritual meal. This is a spiritual meal, Jesus. Relax. Somebody shout, no relax. Oh, no relax. Because you want no relax in that same. Still stand for God. Yes. That God will cut it. My God. My God. The sad truth is, there are folks in the body who want us to turn a blind eye. Oh, God Almighty. I've come to see now that when you preach the truth, oh, God, folks get offended. Yes. That the that that is that they're saying, you know. No, the Christian get offended. Body. When they talk about modesty, the Christian they get offended, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they talk about holiness, it's the Christian they get offended. Yeah. Oh, and they vex with it, they don't like hearing. Yeah. But somebody got to say something. Yeah. Somebody got to say, oh, you know, talk to me. Somebody got to be a Joshua. Oh, somebody, you know, to me. somebody got to be a Jeremiah. Somebody got to be a Ezekiel. Yeah. And for me, and I also we will. We will. That's right. Come to God, you want to come in. Trim all you want to trim in. But as for me, and my house, we will come in. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Turn it on the rock. Hallelujah. Jude begin to tell us. Yes. But a rock up. The tree is there, the spirit that is going to creep into the church. Hallelujah. Jude said, in the last days, we're going to see the spirit of Cain. Oh, you don't talk to me. Cain was a preferred lack of compassion or murderer. Uh, 
I got what we see it, oh God, is that being plastered. Uh, we are seeing the spirit of pain, my sister, uh, be creeping up in the church. Uh, oh God, we see people want to murder you. Uh, uh, if you wore them a stand and they want to kill you. Uh, if you dress a certain way, oh uh, God Almighty, uh, they want to put you down. Uh, but I'm going to have to die for God. Uh, Oh God, that to live for nothing. I want to be blacklisted. Oh God, hold on to this whole time Pentecostal experience that I was taught. Right that oh God, be accepted by everybody. Oh God, somebody got to say it. Somebody got to hold on. Somebody got to be different. Somebody got to preach it. Oh, somebody got to tell it how it is. God is looking for some radical man that will go into the temple and pray out the money changers. Oh God. For too long we have made the God oh God, a house, a house of merchants than a house of prayer. Yes, sir. Marketplace. The second one. You talk about the spirit of the era. Covetous. Willing to prostitute this prophetic gift yeah, for money. Yes, sir. Yes. I want to see everything is now for money. Yes, uh, yes, the quickest way to sell out is money. Yes. Oh God Almighty. Yes. We are yes. selling out this gospel because of money. Yes. Oh God. Money and platform. Yes. Yes. And prestige. Yes. Let me tell you, I don't have to be in your clique. Oh, you don't talk to me, man. If, if I have to own oh, Jesus, don't know that my salvation to be in your company, to preach at your church, deal with your church. But I fuck is your church, is that God church? Oh, God Almighty. I'm not going to set up this to be in your company. I'm not going to set up this to be in your clique. You do it, keep on you, keep. Amen. Yes. Mm. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Try to sell on the prophetic. Yes. Because of prestige and wealth. Yes. Yes. This man had a prophetic gift when he started. Yes. But because of pride, money, and fame. Yes. Oh God Almighty. Yes. Oh, yes. oh God Almighty. Yes. And that we have seen that big brothers and sisters. Yes. That many of us are putting myself. We stand up. Uh, and God begin to use us. Yeah. And we begin to know God and yeah. let grow. But as soon as we reach a yeah. level, we believe that we reach here. And we begin to drift. Yes. 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 Oh, I feel like it's all in our hands now. Huh? Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 I was talking to Mr. Clark. And I was saying to yeah. Oh, that when we reach this level, oh God, the spirit of humility will pass. And sometimes people see that they're going down the wrong lane. But because, oh God, they never have a PhD behind their deal. You can't take tell them, no, somebody talk to you. But who you are, oh God. Oh, excellence is so excellent, you don't talk to me. Who are you to tell me? I am minister so and so, an elder so and so. Oh God Almighty, give me your heaven God this day to preach to your dear. I preach for so and so, and him and him. Hallelujah. But the Spirit of God has already drifted. Amen. So I preach to you. Paul said, I also preach to myself. Oh God Almighty. I got to make sure that I'm careful. And that's why I, tell, I was telling Minister Clark, I'm trying to be so conscious that I don't even don't want people to beat me up too much. Because I can't put, oh God, I've got any trust in this flesh. Oh, you don't talk to me, you don't talk to me. This flesh cannot be trusted. This flesh will fail you. That's what I want. That's the reason why I want to get closer to Jesus. This flesh will fail. You can't put any trust in this flesh. You don't talk to the church. You don't talk to the church. I said, This flesh will fail you. Only the blood of Jesus or the Holy Ghost can put this flesh under subjection. Hallelujah. 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 H
this flesh. Let me say it again. You cannot feed this flesh. You got to feed the spirit. Earnestly content. To tell you what was the spirit of Korah. The spirit of Korah was a rebellious spirit. Rebellious against God's leadership. And so God is extremely displeasured at the rebellion against those who be as set up as his rep as his representative? Oh God! Who will believe? Mm. Oh God! Hallelujah. That Moses was beneath him. Who is who? Mm. Mm. What are you not talking? Ah. Oh, oh God. God, Jesus! But let me tell you, if God said a mule to preach to you, listen. Yeah. For the Bible said, God sent the donkey to stop the madness of the prophet. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. God. Mm. Mm. Korah was rebellious. What we are seeing, brothers and sisters, that is a rebellious spirit in the church. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Oh God. Rebellious against standards. Yes. Rebellious against holiness. Yes. When you tell them something that everybody tries to find out excuses. Yes. Oh God. Oh God. Yes. Oh God. And when they can't hold God to and anything that they don't like, they call it legalism. Amen. We don't talk to the church. Amen. The church, the church is quiet. Yes. Amen. Oh Amen. Jesus. Amen. Oh God. Amen. And so they tell them some things. The first thing they say to you, show it in the scripture. Yes. yes. Oh God. Yes. Not because they want to learn, but because they want excuse not to do it. Yes, yes. You don't talk to Amen. me. You're not right. You don't talk to me. Amen. I can show you those things that is not good for you, that is not in the scriptures. Amen. Oh God. Amen. Oh God. You don't talk to me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is it smoking weed in the scripture? Yeah. Oh God. Right. Smok is it smoking cocaine in the scripture? No. Oh God. Is that good for you? No. Oh God. Yeah. You are very Yes. Oh God, don't want to hear. Right. Oh God. There are certain things that even Paul preached that was not coming from God. Hallelujah. But what Paul see happening, Paul said, I speak as a man. Amen. You know, Paul, Amen. the church is quiet, the church is quiet. Paul was setting certain things in order. Yes. Yes. Paul said, didn't get this from God. But what I'm seeing, I, I, I speak as a man. Because I'm watching over your soul. God put the shepherds and the leaders here to watch over our soul. Okay. So when they see the danger, you are not the watchman. That war, you listen, you're going down the wrong path. Amen. Listen, you know, God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Church is quiet. Oh, Earnestly contend for the faith. The Bible says, the Eden rage. And the people imagine vain things. Yes. But the love and pressure be steadfast yes, and movable. Oh, yeah. Always abound in the work of the Lord. Yeah. For as much as he know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yeah. Can you keep the faith that your marriage is in crisis? Yeah. <laughs> Can you keep the faith when your family is in chaos? Hallelujah. Can you keep the faith when you lost your job? Hallelujah. Can you keep the faith, oh God, if you never get healing? Hallelujah. Can you keep the faith if people, oh God, isolate you and marginalize you and ignore you? Can you still keep the faith? Can you keep the faith when folks use you and abuse you? Hallelujah. Can you still keep the faith when folks just tolerate you? Are you going to learn in this thing that, that everybody loves you? There are some people that just tolerate you. That's true. Oh, God. They tolerate it because of what they want to get. get. Yes. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. I'm a witness, brother. Can you keep the oh God, but can you still keep the faith? Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, it's war time. Yes. Oh God, the enemy is after you. 
The enemy is after your son. The enemy is after my son. The enemy is after your daughter. The enemy is after you. It's war time. War time. And if there's any time that we need to learn to fight, the time is now. It's time for us as the church to rise up and begin to fight for what we believe and the truth of God. War against hypocrisy. War against backbiting. War against crime. War against injustice. War against sodomites. The devil is trying to kill us. War time! Hallelujah. The devil is fighting us on every side. Oh, God, but I heard the Bible say one more time upon this rock. Uh, I build my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. This is the season. Can you stand? I'm going to stop here. This is the season and the hour. This is the time that whatever we do, we keep the faith. Many people are hiding my home, might be feel ashamed when there's a lot of persons speaking ill will of the church. As I said before, and I'm going to say it again, when the dust is settled, the church of the living God will stand alone. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it all said and done. The enemy could have off and puffed the cover. Oh God Almighty. He cannot blow down the child of God. Oh hallelujah. He cannot blow down the thing that God has set up. Jesus told us in the in scripture. So when you see these things. We need to look up <laughs> for a redemption joy at night. The Bible has been fulfilling before our eyes. We are seeing that it's getting closer and closer every day. That the Lord is going to put in his appearance. The Bible says it's going to come back for a church without spot. And very such. Let us, brothers and sisters, continue to hold fast. Let us continue to hold on to the testimony. And let us all make sure that there's oil in our lamp. Let us continue to hold on to the doctrine that the word that the apostle and disciple have preached to us. And let us not be weary in well doing. But in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. If you're here without God and you're not saved, this is a great opportunity for you, hallelujah, to be born again of the water of the Spirit, to have Jesus as your Lord and Savior. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lay your hand on the man of God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the name of Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah,
Later than the time. 